All right, folks, welcome to Arduino for Beginners. This is Arduino 101. And the topic of today is thermistors. So I have one here. It is hooked up already. I will show you the very simple setup. The three output pegs, pins, excuse me, on the thermistor are located on the edge of the board, and they are labeled negative and S for signal. So from that, we can deduce that the negative will go to the negative on either the Arduino or the breadboard that you're using. In this case, it's breadboard. And then the peg in between them is going to be positive, so you can go ahead and run that to the positive on the breadboard. The last one is the signal, and we are going to put that into our Arduino and use the code that you see on the screen to run it. And I will give you just a second to pause the video and go ahead and get this all typed up here. There's not much left down at the bottom other than one delay of uh, half a second there. Um, so let's go ahead and pause the video, get this typed in. It will take you a minute. These variables are what's going to convert our temperature into readable temperature. So, and then we'll just print it here. So nothing you really haven't seen before. Just go ahead and grab the code and when you're done hit play and now that you're ready to move on I'm gonna go ahead and show you what this code does so I'm holding the sensor here and the actual sensor itself is really tiny it's that little black knob on the tip of these two wires so what we're gonna do is upload the sketch get it running and then we will open the serial monitor and see what we're getting for temperature readings I believe the math that we've chosen is going to give us Fahrenheit readings so let's see yeah I'd say that's pretty close so we're getting a temperature reading of about 68.969 still ranging upward a little bit depending on where I move it it will alter it even more and I can put my hand over it or breathe on it and and it'll take different adjustments that way as well um, I just realized you can't see this there it is so this is our temperature reading uh, everything's coming out nominally I mean it's pretty much giving us an accurate reading and you can see this guy right here just this tiny little blob right here that's what's doing the actual reading so um, this is a fairly simple and straightforward tutorial it doesn't take much you can use this for a ton of other things if you don't need that bulky humidity sensor or in particular these are used in the hot ends of 3d printers so knowing how to just plug one in and get a reading from it is kind of cool seeing as how it's part of the inner workings of the software that runs 3d printing as well generally marlin or repeater or whatever uh, 3d printing hosts you have on there will run the actual thermistors and the motors and all of that so it's nice to know how it works outside of the context that I normally see it in or that you might normally see it in here on the channel well that's it guys that's gonna wrap up this video if you've noticed the shirt the merch is available go ahead and check out the Teespring merch link down below it won't be available on a channel store until I reach 10,000 subscribers and so far I am just about to hit 5,000 so uh, it'll be a little while a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel But they are available now. I have a couple other designs feel free to pop over there and check them out and know that any purchase through the Teespring site Definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability to make videos in the future So we appreciate all your support Don't forget to check out the Teespring link check out our patreon link Leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.